for this third question, two particles A and B with masses theorem and M respectively are connected by a light in extensible strings. So you're not concerned about variable tension in the string. R is a smooth ring, so there's no friction. And of course it's fixed, so its position is not changing. B hangs in equilibrium vertically below the ring. Particle A moves in a horizontal circle on a smooth horizontal surface with a speed of 245 of J. The angle between AR and BR is theta as shown. The normal reaction between A and the surface is 12 over 5 mg. But now we want to find the value of cosine of theta. If you consider the equilibrium of B, we can say the tension in the string that is holding B up should be equal to the weight of B. So that's just as simple as mg. If that is true, and this string is inextensible and the ring is smooth, and the tension in the string BR should be equal in magnitude to the tension in the string RA. However, they're in different directions, but the magnitude of the tension should be the same. If that is the case, then the vertical component of the tension in RA, of course, that should be mg cos theta. Because assume or consider a vertical through A, this angle is an alternate angle to the original theta and that, that should be equal to it. And if it's a cosine of this angle, that will be adjacent, which is the vertical component that we are looking for, over the hypotenuse, which is mg. So that's basically the value of the tension acting vertically upward. That should be equal to the weight of A, which in this case is 3mg. But then there's also a reaction, a normal reaction, of course, if A is resting or moving on this surface and it's not going down, and there's this reaction 12 over 5g, and that reaction is acting upwards. So there's a component of T acting upward, there is a reaction from the plane, and then there's the weight of A acting vertically downwards. So that reaction should be that. So at this point, you can just solve for the value of cos of theta as So the value of the cosine of theta is 3 over 5. Of course, that is within the range for theta to be a real number. So that's the answer to the first part of this problem. The second part of this problem wants us to find or calculate the distance of B below the ring in terms of A. And there's something we need to take a close, a very close look at. All right. Now, A is moving in a circle. Let this be the center of that circle, which is vertically below the ring. The radius of that circular path, of course, is going to be the R that I'm defining here, lowercase r. If that is true, the tension in the string has a component that is directed towards the center of the circle, and that's the only force acting towards the center of the circle, and hence it is going to provide the centripetal force required to keep A in this circular path. So let's determine the components of T acting in the direction. Of course, if you do T times the sine of this angle, that leads us to what we need. And of course, if you have cosine of theta to be 3 over 5, you are very sure that sine of theta will be 4 over 5. And in that case, 
t times sine of theta should be equal to the mass of a its linear speed squared over the radius of the circular path for now we know what the value of t is because that's mj we know what the value of sine of theta is because we know what cosine of theta is the mass of a we're given the velocity of a we know that as well and the only thing we need to figure out for now is the value of r so let's calculate the value of r by making r the subject in this relation now this simplifies to the mg will cancel out with this mg but we have a left so everything is 3 4 5 a that's the value of r now remember when you take sine of this angle you have opsis which is r over the hypotenuse which is ar and that will mean that ar is equal to r as we know it over sine of theta and this is the same as Now, if AR from R to A is three quarters of A, and the whole length from A through R to B is A, then BR, which is the distance of B below the ring, should just be. Great, so BR is just a quarter of the length of A.